What's up, everybody? It's Collected Deck. I'm back again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I have one subscriber, and I know who it is. Corey, I'm looking at you, Murfreesboro Media. Thank you for that. You're my only subscriber. So come on, people. Subscribe. I got some cool stories to tell you, man, about baseball players. Everybody loves baseball. Everybody loves the players. So come on, man. I'm going to tell you some cool stories. Subscribe, fool. So anyways, this week... Yes, it's another Detroit Tiger, but that's okay. I'm compiling a list. I am com compiling a list of uh, unique and interesting players and their stories. And uh, this week is no different than my first two. Um, well, maybe no. It's definitely different. Uh, yeah, it's definitely he's definitely different. But uh, his rookie year was 1977. 1977, check this out. For the Detroit Tigers, these are their rookies that were brought up during the 19, at some point during the 1977 season. Alan Trammell, Lou Whitaker, Lance Parrish, Steve Kemp, Jack Morris. Two of those guys I just mentioned are right here. They got inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2018. Trammell and Morris this guy he's not on their level but he played with them obviously um, did I mention Steve Kemp Steve Kemp all 1977 crazy I mean anyway those all besides Steve Kemp everybody I'm mentioning including this guy right here I'm about to tell you we're on the 84 World Series championship team who started up 35 and 5 the best first 40 games in the history of Major League Baseball. 35 and 5. Check it. So anyways, this guy right here. Dave Rosma. Yes, I have his autograph. Rookie card. Thank you. You know what would have been even cooler? The only thing that could have made this card even cooler is if he had a card. Him and Steve Kemp from this season are the only two not the only two, but out of the people we're talking about tonight that have the rookie card like this, just the single player on it. Whitaker, Trammell, Morris, Lance Parrish, they all have the yellow border rookie card with the four players on it, which is awesome. I know you know what I'm talking about. I know you know what I'm talking about. Them 78 tops. I know. I know. Trammell's also got a, well, Trammell and Whitaker also got the 78 Burger King rookies also. with So they got their own single cards too. But those yellow border ones, those are awesome. So yes, so Dave Rosma. Never, you never heard of this guy. They called him Rosie. He's from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, a fellow Michigander along with Kirk Gibson, who's from Pontiac, Michigan, whose rookie year was 1979, only two years later. All these guys, like I said, except for Steve Kemp, won the 84 World Series. So what's so crazy about this guy? Well, for starters, um, I don't know, 1985, Kurt Gibson and Dave Rosma married sisters in like, I don't know what you call it, a dual wedding at the same time. They got married at the same time to sisters. And then they went to, I think, Australia for their honeymoon. That's kind of weird. That's just for starters. Okay. Best friends, they best friends do best friend things, I guess. I don't know. Is that weird? That's for you to decide. So, anyways, May 14th, 1982. Picture this Twins versus Tigers. Chet Lemon is up to bat. Uh, Pete Redfern, who this ended up being his last season because the next season in 1983, he ended up being paralyzed in a car accident. But prior to that, obviously, he's pitching to Chet Lemon, hits Chet Lemon, and he was the second player that he hit that night. Chet Lemon goes down to the ground, jumps back up, 
immediately rushes the mound. Takes dude out. Just takes him out. He's Chet Lemon, man. He's quick. He didn't have time to think. He was already there before he realized what was going on. Benches clear. It's pure chaos. Check it out. You got Check out the Tigers, Twins, uh, bench clearing 1982. It'll come up. Anyways, it's amazing because I'm talking like everybody's up in there. Lance Parrish gets up in there. Kirk Gibson gets up in there. Even Sparky Anderson in his old ass looking 40 year old body was up in there. I mean, Sparky Anderson had gray hair when he was coaching the Reds in 75 and 76 when they won the World Series, looking like he was like 90 when he was really like 36 or something like that. It's crazy. But he was out there. He gets dropped. Uh, everybody's bum rushing everybody, man. I mean, it's going crazy. I mean, you're seeing like people getting punched in the face, like straight up. I and mean, this is like, think about it. This is like the 80s. This ain't no like 2022 bench clearing thing where everybody's like, oh, yeah. Tweet at me or something like that, whatever they do nowadays. These people were taking each other out. They were go- they were taking each other out. So, <laughs> if you're watching this from if you're watching the TV from the left side of your screen, you see Dave Rosma come running, and John Cast- is it John Cast- John Castino is you can see John Castino. Standing there, played for the uh, Twins. You can see him go. This is before you can see Dave Ro- Rosma come to screen. You just see, he's just kind of standing there. Everybody's fighting around him. And you just kind of see this dude go like this, like, hey, stop, don't do it. And then from off the screen, out of nowhere, here comes Dave Rosma. And I'm telling you, he Lou Kangs it. He just jumps, karate kicks, and just like, bam, hits him, knocks dude down. But that's not the crazy thing. As he's jumping, I mean, I'm literally saying, like, he's literally Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat. I mean, he's literally left the ground. He's got his one foot straight forward. I mean, he's karate posing. He's, I mean, he's the, he's the karate kid at this point. He's probably, I don't know, three feet off the ground. I mean, it's, it's pretty insane, actually, if you watch it. But he goes up, and he's just like, bam, takes dude out. He falls. He just kind of drops. Dave Roseman does. The dude... Pulled eight ligaments in his knee. He had to get carted off of the field because of it. And he missed the rest of the 82 season because of a karate kick. The Michigan Whitecaps, the, I think they're double A team um, out of Michigan, obviously, ended up at some point, you know, obviously way later. Uh, they actually had a bobblehead, a karate kick bobblehead of Dave Rosma, which is amazing. I, how cool would it to be? How cool would it be to have that? That's pretty rad. So, anyways, that's just one of the crazy things this dude did. This dude was was insane. By all accounts, he seems like a really cool dude. All the, I've been watching a lot of uh, uh, interviews with this guy. He seems he, he actually seems pretty down to earth and just like a normal dude. But I think. I think back then he was just, I don't know if he just, he was just young and crazy and maybe drank a lot, maybe. I don't know, but the dude was all, maybe just like the party, I think. He was just worked up. I don't know. But like I said, like him and Kurt Gibson were like really good friends. I mean, they married sisters and all. Um, so they were at a bar one night and Kurt Gibson kind of like playfully pushed him, pushed Dave off of his bar stool and he fell and depending on who's who the source is he fell but some people say he had a flask in his back pocket some people had he said he had some like cough syrup in his back pocket but either way he when he fell the glass broke and he had to get 11 stitches in his <laughs> in his hip Another situation where and where there was obviously drinking involved was uh, can, had to do with Alan Trammell. Alan Trammell, like this dude, like quiet dude, just did what he had to do. I mean, I don't know. I guess everybody's got their, you know, likes to drink. But anyways, they're at a bar. I guess they're at a bar. It must be a bar. 
um, Dave Roman was kind of messing with him, kind of, kind of, again, playfully pushing Alan Trammell. And Trammell, I guess, went to block or duck or something like that. And Dave Rosma's beer glass, like, hit him in the face and, like, broke on his face. <laughs> and Alan Trammell, that Alan Trammell, 47 stitches, like, real close to his eye. He had to get 47 stitches, like, super close to the eye because of Dave Rosma. That's, like, three st- crazy stories right there for him maybe the dude dude is insane so again depending on the source i think he was in i think this was a, i think it was i want to say this was spring training i think it was spring training i don't think it was regular season but he was he overslept and missed the team bus because the night before he was out judging a wet t-shirt contest. Now, how awesome is that? I think that tells you everything you need to know about this guy. He just likes to party and have a good time. So I think this is where all this comes out. I don't think anything is like a, um, you know, I don't think he's like a fighter or something. Well, I mean, he did try to kick a dude, but it sounds like he's just like a, he just likes to have a good time. I mean, that's it's 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 pretty it's pretty insane. Um, and there's one more crazy story that this dude did. Uh, so I guess he had just bought a brand new car. And I don't know if this was like right when he got into the big leagues or when he started playing baseball. Anyways, it was some point when he was playing baseball, he got a car. And if you know what Brillo pads are, you know, you would not want to wash your car with Brillo pads, but yet this guy decided he was going to wash his car with Brillo pads. I guess maybe he thought he could get some of the who knows what he had on there maybe he had some stains or something from sitting under a tree or some birds and had to get it off but my man washed his car with brillo pads which if you're not familiar with brillo pads it's going to scratch your car you do not want to wash wash your car with brillo pads so this dude was uh was a character man but like i said by all accounts, the dude seems like a really good dude, and um, he just, I, I'm going to say he just likes to party. I'm going to say the dude must like to party. So anyways, that's my Dave Rosema stories. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Follow me at Collected Deck on Instagram. That's K O L L E C T A H, Collector Deck. And I got more stories for you coming up. So if you got any players that you think are unique and interesting with some st- with some unique and interesting stories, you know, so far I've done Dave Rosma, I've done Mark Fidrich, and uh, Ron the Floor, the guy who was in prison. I think those are all interesting. Comment, let me know, message me. And I will, uh, I will definitely do those, do those stories because I'm already, like I said, compiling a list of some guys. I got some really good dudes. They're not always going to be Tigers, of course, but Tigers are what I know. So that's what I'm keeping at right now. But I think next week, next the next one, I think I'm going to try to do uh, a non-Tiger to kind of diversify it. So, anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you next time.